In this video here, we're going to start the second page of our handout, resolving vectors into components, algebraically, magnitude, and unit vectors. We're going to learn how to write a vector in terms of its components i, j, and k. We're going to learn how to calculate magnitude and unit vectors, and all of this is done algebraically. Given any vector, any displacement, and any system, 2D, 3D, 17D even, uh, you should be able to use the same ideas here to create the vector name or the vector's components so that anybody can graph it. So let's start with 2D. We always need to know with displacement vectors where the vector starts and where the vector ends. So I'm going to say in general. Now in general means it's not a specific example. We'll do this first and then we'll show an example. So in general, if I'm going to go from the point AB to the point CD, there, are a way, there is a formula to use in order to calculate the vector itself with i and j, calculate the magnitude, and then calculate the unit vector. And we'll do all three. So if I start with just doing the components, if I want to know how long the vector is, let's think about this guy, how long the vector is in the x direction, that'll be the i's. If I want to know how long the vector is in this direction, that'll be the j's. All right, so I know that if I go from here to here, then here to here, I will have the vector. So how do I do that? We've done this kind of thing in the past with other mathematics, so this shouldn't be crazy unfamiliar. So I'm going to take the change in the x values, the from to the to. I'm sorry, the to minus the from. So it's c minus ai plus d minus bj. The one where we end up is the one that you subtract or take in the subtraction first. Now if I want to talk about the magnitude, it has to do with the Pythagorean theorem. So the magnitude is denoted with double bars around the vector. I know in physics you use a single bar, but in mathematics we use double bars. So the formula to do this is going to be the same thing here. C minus A, but I square it, plus D minus B, and I square it, and I take the square root. Again, its roots are in the Pythagorean theorem. If I want to talk about the unit vector, that's basically just taking the components of the vector itself and dividing each of the components by the magnitude, whatever it turns out to be. So this would be equal to C minus A over the magnitude of V I plus D minus B over the magnitude of V J. And notice every time I use I and J and I write down vector V, I use my arrows. Now I'm going to extend it into 3D. Again, use the same thing in 2D extend it once more to include z. So let's move this over so I have some space here. So this one we're going to talk about vector w. And w is going to go from a, b, c to p, q, r. So if I follow the same logic as I did for v, I'm going to take the to minus the from for each component. So p minus a, i plus Q minus B, J, plus R minus C, K. Sorry about that, Mark. Same thing. Notice I just add one extra component on there for the third part of the order triple. For the magnitude, the first two pieces, P minus A squared, plus Q minus B squared, and then I add the third component, R minus C squared. And the unit vector, honestly, is exactly the same. And generally, we denote unit vector with the little u, and that'll be the components for W divided by the magnitude of W. Okay. So we're going to utilize these formulas down here to resolve a vector in two space and a vector in three space into components. So the first thing you want to do when you do this is write down the from point and the to point. So here, if I draw these little dashes to kind of show you where it is, 
I'm going to start from 4, negative 3, and I'm going to go to, looks like negative 3, 3. So I do the same setup. I'll call this vector v again. So vector b, v will be from 4 minus 3 to minus 3, 3. Now again, we're beginners. So we start with stuff that helps us remember the way that we do things, and then eventually we can get away from that. But right now, just do it. It's not going to kill you. So if I think about the components here, I have to think uh, my i component is going to be the change in the x's, starting this one. Minus 3 minus 4i plus, got to start here, 3 minus negative 3j. So let's see, what does that become? It becomes negative 7i plus 6j. Now, how does that appeal to our sense of graphics? All right, so let me get a little another pen over here. And I'm going to say, okay, if I start at my from position and I move, displace myself and move over to this direction until I'm directly under the tip, how many i's will that be? In other words, each i is one unit in length. So how many i's are there going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're probably wondering why it's minus seven i. Well, I'm going in the negative x direction. So it's minus seven because I'm going in the negative direction towards the left. So there's technically seven little i arrows here. <laughs> I'm not going to do a very good job here. There should be four of them, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little i's. That's where the minus seven comes from. We do the same thing vertically. Start at the displacement in the x direction and then move in the displacement of the y direction. Now I'm going in the positive y direction, so that means I count positive. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six j, literally six j vectors. And then down here, seven i vectors, negative. So that's where these components come from. So it's a great way to describe a vector. So if I know that I'm starting here at 4 minus 3 and I need to draw the vector, and I, but I don't know the ending point, I can just count over minus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, count up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I end up right in the spot that I need. And I connect the beginning and the end together. My displacement, I start here and here I displace. All right, now let's calculate the magnitude and then the unit vector. So the magnitude of this guy is going to be the square root of minus 7 squared plus 6 squared. That's going to be the square root of 49 plus 36. Now, I don't think that's a very pretty number, but let's see. 49 plus 36. 85. That can't be simplified anymore. I'm just going to tell you that. So just leave it squared of 85. Now, just because the numbers aren't pretty doesn't mean you did it wrong. It's just ugly. So now if I want to talk about the unit vector, I take each component, divide by the magnitude. Component I. There's component J divided by the magnitude. There you go. Now, if you actually did the magnitude on this, it would turn out to be 1. So let's try it, just for fun. So the magnitude of u is going to be the square root of minus 7 over square root of 85 squared plus 6 over square root of 85 squared. That's going to give me 49 over 85 plus 36 over 85. And if I add the numerator from before, it'll be 85 divided by 85. <gasps> Look. So vector v was originally 80 square root of 85 units, but now using this formula, I actually have a new vector that's length 1. So no, it is so. Know it. Now we're going to do the same thing down here. This is in 3 space. 
So uh, let's see. I have the from and the to already labeled here. So this is from and to. So let's talk about the components of W. So I'm going to take the difference in the Y's. So 1 minus 2i plus 3 minus 1j plus 4 minus 1k. Can you see that? Yeah. Do the math. I get minus 1, 2, and 3. Now, I'm going to show you another way of writing a vector. So the first way I would do this, minus i plus 2j plus 3k. Another way that's a little bit shorthand, it might come easier or be easier for you later, is just to use a pointy bracket. It has to be pointy. And just write the coefficients of each component, minus 1, 2, 3. And that represents the same vector. Now, I don't care which, which way you use it. At first, it might be easier just to use this. If I want to do the magnitude of w now, that's going to be the square root of each of these numbers squared. So minus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. That's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9, which is a square root of 14. If I want to do the unit vector for w, I'm going to take its magnitude and divide each component by it. So minus 1 over square root of 14i, 2 over square root of 14j, 3 over the square root of 14k.